There are few things as exciting in professional sports as witnessing a knockout victory in a high-level mixed martial arts contest. Whether it caps off a dominant performance or comes out of nowhere, a KO win almost always leaves fans with their jaws on the floor. Over the years, we've seen the emergence of several stars that have had a knack for putting their opponents to sleep. That said, for the true KO connoisseurs out there, we decided to take a look at 10 fighters who currently hold the record for the most knockouts in UFC history. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at 10 fighters with the most knockout wins in UFC history. Number 10. Donald Cerrone, 10 wins. When you've had 36 UFC fights, tied for the most in the promotion's history, your name is bound to show up in the record books more than a few times, as is the case with Donald Cowboy Cerrone. The 37-year-old, who originally hails from Denver, Colorado, has been one of the sport's most active fighters in recent years and is always willing to take on all comers. With his cowboy persona, fearless demeanor, and exciting fighting style, Cerrone is one of the organization's most popular athletes. Moreover, the longtime lightweight contender has also had quite a few knockout victories during his lengthy UFC run, 10 to be exact. Matt Brown, Jim Miller, and Charles Oliveira are just a few of the names that have been KO'd by the Cowboy from Colorado. In total, Cerrone has received three knockout of the night bonuses and counting. Number 9. Junior Dos Santos – 10 Wins Junior Dos Santos is a hard-hitting heavyweight who managed to capture UFC gold back in 2011. The Brazilian powerhouse has used his crisp boxing to secure his place amongst the best big men in mixed martial arts. Of his 21 professional wins, 15 have come by way of knockout, 10 of which occurred inside a UFC octagon. Dos Santos has KO'd several heavyweight legends throughout his career, including Mirko Krokop, Frank Mir, and Fabricio Verdum. However, his finest moment in the octagon would be at UFC on Fox 1 back in 2011. During the UFC's Fox television debut, Dos Santos stole the show by knocking out Cain Velasquez in what would be the first of a three-fight series. In doing so, the Brazilian became the new heavyweight champion of the world and the first man to defeat Velasquez. Now 36, Dos Santos is still competing in the UFC and has a chance to add a few more knockouts to his resume before calling it a career. Number 8. Cain Velasquez, 10 wins. Despite a somewhat injury-plagued career, Selena California's Cain Velasquez still managed to become a two-time UFC heavyweight champion. Known for his ability to swarm opponents and overwhelm them with power punches, Cain Velasquez enjoyed plenty of big knockouts during his UFC tenure. In fact, his first title win actually came with a knockout. The famous KO occurred at UFC 121 in October of 2010 in a bout with Brock Lesnar. That evening, Velasquez used a flurry of big shots to put away Lesnar and capture the heavyweight crown. Of course, the Lesnar win wasn't his only notable knockout. At UFC 166, he managed to cap off his trilogy with longtime rival Junior Dos Santos with a stellar TKO win. His knockout list also includes well-known heavyweights like Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, Antonio Bigfoot Silva, and Ben Rothwell. His 10 KO victories tie him for the second most in heavyweight history. Number 7. Michael Bisbing – 10 Wins Michael the Count Bisbing is a former middleweight champion out of Manchester, England. He immediately made his presence felt in the UFC by winning the Ultimate Fighter's third season. During a lengthy UFC career that lasted from 2006 to 2017, Bisbing managed to add an impressive 10 knockouts to his resume. The Count's KO victims include Kung Lee, Jason Miller, and Elvis Sinisic. Of course, Bisbing's biggest knockout win occurred back in June of 2016 at UFC 199. That evening, the British superstar shocked the MMA world by knocking out Luke Rockhold in the first round to become the middleweight champ. In 2019, Bisbing's ability to finish fights helped him earn a spot in the UFC's Hall of Fame's modern wing. Number 6. Tiago Santos – 11 Wins Rio de Janeiro's Tiago Santos has undoubtedly lived up to his nickname, the Sledgehammer. The former Ultimate Fighter contestant has used his heavy hands to take out some of the UFC's best over the course of his career. The 37-year-old has knocked out fighters like Anthony Smith, Jimmy Manoa, and Jack Hermanson. Santos is also the only man to knock out reigning light heavyweight champion Jan Blahovich, a feat he accomplished in February of 2019. At UFC 239, Santos took then-UFC light heavyweight champ John Jones to the limit, losing the contest via split decision. During his middleweight run, Santos also picked up eight knockout victories, tying Anderson Silva for the most in the division's history. Number 5. 
Derek Lewis, 11 wins. Louisiana's own Derek the Black Beast Lewis has definitely made fans chuckle with some of his post-fight antics over the years. Of course, many of his opponents haven't found their time in the cage with this hard-hitting heavyweight the least bit amusing. Lewis has used his fight-ending power to pull off come-from-behind victories over divisional standouts like Alexander Volkov and Alexei Olenek. He also holds KO wins over names like Travis Brown and Gabriel Gonzaga. At present, Derek Lewis currently holds the UFC heavyweight record for most knockouts in the promotion's history, with 11 to his credit. Number 4. Anthony Johnson – 11 wins At the height of his UFC run, Anthony Rumble Johnson was one of the most feared men in the promotion due to his ability to end fights in an instant. Johnson holds first-round KO victories over some very big names, including Ryan Bader, Alexander Gustafsson, and Antonio Noguera. At UFC 202, Rumble also put away top light heavyweight contender Glover Teixeira in just 13 seconds. With 11 KO wins under the UFC banner against top shelf combatants, Anthony Rumble Johnson is one of the best light heavyweights never to have held UFC gold. Number 3. Matt Brown – 11 wins The immortal Matt Brown is the only fighter on our list who hasn't either fought for or held a UFC championship. That said, the native out of Jamestown, Ohio has become a fan favorite due to his ability to finish fights in a violent fashion. At UFC Fight Night 26, Brown earned Knockout of the Night honors by taking out Mike Pyle in just 29 seconds. The former Ultimate Fighter contestant also holds KO victories over Eric Silva and Diego Sanchez. In fact, Bloody Elbow even selected the Sanchez win as their Knockout of the Year in 2017. Having racked up 11 since signing with the promotion, Matt Brown is one of the UFC's premier knockout artists. Number 2. Anderson Silva – 11 wins Another of the many Brazilian fighters on our list is Anderson the Spider Silva. The legend out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, held the UFC middleweight championship for 2,457 days, the longest title reign in the promotion's history. Besides being one of the most dominant champions the sport has ever seen, Silva is also responsible for several of the UFC's flashiest KO victories. In total, he has used his impressive striking to take home a record-setting seven knockout-of-the-night bonuses. Moreover, Silva's 11 KO victories have come against top-notch competition, including Rich Franklin, Forrest Griffin, and Chael Sonnen. Interestingly enough, one of Silva's most spectacular knockouts was at UFC 126, in a bout with our next entrant, Vitor the Phenom Belfort. The Spiders' 11 knockout wins put him in a five-way tie for the second most knockouts inside a UFC octagon. Number 1. Vitor Belfort – 12 wins Vitor the Phenom Belfort is a former light heavyweight champion who also won the UFC 12 tournament back in 1997. Despite having earned a jiu-jitsu black belt under Carlson Gracie, the Brazilian powerhouse is known for his elite knockout power. One of the Phenom's best weapons over the years has been his devastating head kicks. Belfort's kicks helped him earn knockout of the night honors in three consecutive fights against elite competition. During the three-fight stretch, the former light heavyweight king put away Michael Bisping, Luke Rockhold, and Dan Henderson, respectively. The Rockhold win, in particular, would go down as the knockout of the year in 2013. In total, Vitor Belfort has 12 knockouts on his UFC resume, more than any other athlete in the organization's history. However, Belfort's controversial use of testosterone replacement therapy, commonly known as TRT, has caused some pundits to question the legitimacy of his accomplishments inside the cage. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel. Apart from that, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.